Hello YouTube, this is Asatsu5. Please forgive me for the poor lighting. Um, uh, I can't necessarily film these uh, boot reviews inside because putting them on the table and getting the camera where you can see the whole entire boot is a little bit difficult. But um, I'm out here on the porch and uh, I want to try to review these um, Outer Angels. And that's, what, that's the model name is uh, Red Wing Outer Angel. Uh, let me pull up the um, model number. Uh, these are the uh, Iron Ranger uh, 8111 and uh, let's see what, what do they call this color? Um, um, Amber Harness Leather is this color and um, there was a picture of them in somewhat good lighting you know they're, they're brown um, I've had these for a few years now. Uh, they're a very cool boot because uh, they have a history of being a walking boot. Like a, they were, def they were originally a walking boot, literally, and uh, they kind of turned into a fashion item, as with most things. Um, uh, the fashion community sees something that they like from the military or the walking man, and then they were like, "Oh, that looks cool." So let's turn that into something. That, um, that's uh, more of a fashion statement, not a necessity. And you see this a lot with like, um, for example, the um, pants with the fake mud on them that sell for about $500. But these are really cool, they're really good looking. Uh, they, let's get to some details about the um, boot. Um, like I said, this is the Iron Ranger um, um, 8111. Uh, they have a capped toe. This isn't a steel toe, but you can see that it has an extra layer of leather, and that harkens back to its original use as a working man's boot. Uh, this was made for miners who were mining coal, um, and this act, this was the precursor to the steel toe. It just gave you a little bit extra protection. Um, this is the old model that comes with a flat uh, sole, and uh, they have new, um, a new variant of this. I'm hoping when I get these resold eventually that they'll put the new uh, uh, bottom on them. But they have lug soles. And um, let's see if I can pull a picture of that up right now. Um, you might be able to see right there, you know, they actually have tread on them. And uh, those came out after I bought these. I bought these at the Red Wing store. And um, these cost roughly three hundred dollars. If you buy them directly from Red Wing, they're like uh, three nineteen. If you buy them some other place, it's going to be like two eighty, two ninety. So roughly three hundred dollars will get you this boot. Uh, it has a steel shank. Comes with a cork um, inner sole. And um, I don't plan on using these as a walk boot, but uh, I. I don't plan on using them as a walk boot in um, my groundskeeping job, let's say it like that. If I was walking inside, I'm going to be standing for long periods of time, uh, I wouldn't mind wearing this if I wasn't going to be blowing grass on them. You know, I want to keep these boots look, looking nice. And I got the, um, you can't really see in there, but I got a um, custom kind of orthotic in there from Red Wing. And um, buying these boots and putting that... Um, uh, orthotic um, footbed in there um, uh, really took up a lot of space and I had to buy a, tree, a shoe tree to stretch the leather out in order for it to fit uh, <laughs> I'm getting tongue tied to get them to fit properly uh, you notice I have straight laces when I wear the boots this is what you see that's just something a little bit fancy that I did they don't come like that you can lace them up however you want um, and I find that these shoes stay laced up relatively long. Uh, I have issues like um, with these shoes that the laces come undone uh, on a pretty regular basis. But uh, usually on the weekends when I'm not going to be working, I wear these boots. Uh, it's kind of my everyday average Joe, you know, let's just run around town and have a good time boot. Uh, this is it, you know. Uh, I have worn them to the nightclub. Um, I have, um, you know, worn them on uh, business trips. They kind of, they're pretty uh, universal in that way. You can wear them in many different um, occasions. I wouldn't wear them as a dress boot, like, um, you know, with a suit. That would look weird. 
but you know for casual wear I, lo I really love it and it has a good year welt uh, so these boots are almost infinitely repairable you can take them to a cobbler and uh, they can put a new sole on them and uh, these boots should last you for life if you take care of them so that's it that's um, kind of my everyday well my weekend boot now, let's put it that way if I'm not at work I'm usually wearing these boots and um, uh, I'm usually wearing these boots if I'm not wearing shorts. I used to never wear shorts, but now I'm kind of wearing them, and uh, that's where these come into play. So that's it. That's the review. I thought I'd give you an up-close look at them. Uh, I'm a Satsu 5, and I'm out.